In this last video, I'm going to show you how to use your ends to close up some of the holes that form in between the fingers. And by ends, I mean these little bits of yarn that you've got left hanging off the, the project after you finish knitting. Now to prepare for this, I've turned the glove inside out. It may look exactly the same to you until you look here at the thumb and you'll see that I've actually got this inside out right now. And I've pulled all the ends here to the inside so that I can weave them in on the part of the glove that isn't going to show. Now what I mean by these holes, there are, you'll see that in between each of the fingers you've got these little holes and you need to use these ends. Conveniently there is at least one end for every one of these holes that you can use just to sew up that space. And the main thing I want to emphasize here is that you really don't need to be super precise about this. If you think about it, each one of these little sew-up spots is going to be in between your fingers. In other words, in a place that's not very visible. But I'll show you a way to do it that looks, that still looks nice in case you want to be, you know, a little more professional about it. So you need your yarn needle or tapestry needle. Go ahead and take one of these ends that's conveniently located right next to one of these holes. And then what I like to do is take whichever hand is not holding the tapestry needle. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put my left hand inside the glove just so I can kind of hold the glove and open up that hole at the same time, just so I can see a little better what I'm doing. And then I'm going to take the tapestry needle and very much like closing up the top of the hat, I'm just going to go into, just weave the yarn through several of the threads all the way around the circumference of that hole, like this. I'll just go in this way, it's a little easier. Okay, so I've gone all the way around, you can see the brown thread running the circumference there and then I just pull to close up that hole. And you can double check to make sure that, you know, there are no lingering holes left open. It looks like this is a little bit loose over here. So I'll just reinforce it a bit by coming back across here and over to this little loose spot and then I'll just run the thread across there as well, just to pull it closed. And now I just need to finish weaving in the end. And again, no need to be super precise about this. Really the main thing that you want to do is to weave this yarn back and forth in several different directions and that will prevent it from popping out. So I'll kind of come under here and then maybe go back up this way and maybe just one more time come back down through here. And that's plenty. And then you just, you can cut it now, but what I would actually recommend that you do is go ahead and weave in all the ends first and wait to cut these ends. If you wait until after you wash and block the gloves, if you're going to do that, the it, it'll give the, the ends some time to kind of move around and get stretched out if they're gonna do that. And then when you come back to cut them, they won't be too short. So it's just a little extra preventative step. You can cut them now if you want, it's entirely up to you. Now let's take a look at the thumb. The thumb, you remember we picked up stitches here in order to close any gap, and, and actually there really isn't much of a hole here, but I do like to go ahead and use this end to reinforce that join, just because you know this is an area that gets a lot of wear. Your thumbs do a lot of the work of your hand, so it's a good idea to go ahead and just run this end back and forth across that spot where you picked up those stitches. So again, no need to mimic exactly what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going back and forth in several directions to reinforce that area. So that's how you close up the holes using the ends. And the rest of them you can just sew in like normal, the ones up here at the top of the glove and down here at the bottom.
you can just sew those in like you normally would weave in an end.